What's it like hmm? working for a woman? What are you going to do? A woman boss. In America, you know that? What? Wait! Tony! Tony! Yeah, come down to eat. Jesus Christ, is that all you people do? The lunch we had with Jim a wood chipper. We need to finish our business. I said all I'm going to say. All right, I'm coming down. Come on. Look at this. Guarda che bello. Got to bring my kids back here. Show them all this. In the olden time, the Sibyl of Kuma was the second most important oracle after Delphi. Well, Delphi was in Greece. Well, the Greeks were here. Way before the Romans. And before the Greeks, they were somebody else. And before them, somebody else. Ecosivia. The rulers would come from across the ancient world to hear the Sibyl's predictions of their future. She would sit inside the cave inhaling gases. I think I dated this broad. Possibly volcanic, though no longer active, and would speak in a voice not her own. Delivering unto them their fates. Let's go into the cave. The Sibyl said way back there, see the shaft of light? It's a fucking trip. Mm. The Sibyl were very beautiful, in most cases. Oh, yeah? Got a premonition for me? Mm. You? You're no problem to read. You are your own worst enemy. Oh, is that right? I'll tell you, right now, you remind me of somebody from back home. <laughs> Not your wife. Your girlfriend? Oh, I got one. To answer your question. But no. Not her. But she's someone you want to fuck. I can tell. Oh, really? You know, everybody's their own worst enemy, so maybe your psychic power has been overrated a little bit. You don't want to fuck her? You don't want to fuck me? Yeah, I do. But I don't shit where I eat. Que cosa? No fare la merda dove mangiare. It's bad business. We're, we're in business. Ma vattin, va. Vattin! Not at those price. All right, uh... You give me Furio, and I'll walk down the price of the cars to 85. Okay. I get more guys on my timetable. Seventy five mila per macchina. Seventy-five thousand. Okay. Three Hans and a seven. Wait, buds. Good. Make it a nine. <laughs> I fucked up dreams last night. Fever dreams. I shot this guy. He's a friend of mine. Now, in real life, this guy does do some things that annoy me. Like every Christmas, he sends out these type reports of what his nieces and nephews have been doing. Who got into West Point? Who got a hole in one? And he comes. TV commercials. Drives me fucking crazy. What? He's one of my best guys, a terrific earner. 
So what the fuck would I do that for? It was, it was filled with... Anger. Yeah, right. Anger. You know everything. You've never dealt with your anger. And look at the cost. You are the biggest threat to yourself. But that's what being a human being is. But some people are more self-destructive than others. You gonna make me eat something now? Maybe. If you keep this up. No. <laughs>